good, fam. Hey, I'm about to take my hair down. After I take my hair down, I'm going to be doing a style I never did before. I'm going to be doing like a pop smoke slash little baby type style. I mean, it's going to be braided down and then I'm going to have like a little pop smoke. So yeah, I'm about to take this hair down though because boy, I've been been going crazy. Been going crazy. You know how it is if you got locks and you just got a style like literally. Um, I think my client, y'all remember Miguel from my other video. Um, link for the video will be right here, by the way. But dude, I did his hair in barrels, and then next thing you know, I look on Snapchat. I see his story, he got his hair took down. I'm like, dang, you didn't even last the night. So yeah, it's the real deal. That was, that was his first style though, that he's ever got. So having that kind of tension on your hair, you ain't used to it, yeah, it's gonna be uncomfortable. I warned him. I'm a, this is gonna probably be a vlog slash tutorial. <gasps> is my plant coming back to life? Yo, check this out. Alo, um, Tiki. Um, it's called Tiki Alo. Tiki Alo. Look how beautiful she looks. Beautiful. So, as you can see, these little pieces right here, they grew. Oh my God, they're chipping now. So these things literally grew all the way up to the ceiling. I Listen, I kid you not, okay? And then after a while, they just started to shrivel up. I'm looking up and I noticed that another one is sprouting. Well, I will keep y'all updated with how that goes. And I'm telling you, it's literally like Jack in a Beanstalk. Like it literally climbs all the way up here. Like real talk. But yeah, anyway. Y'all, it's crazy because my last video I did, my last hair video I did, I literally had to go to a basketball game and coach. But it's kind of a crazy coincidence that my previous video of my hair, check out the video, check out the video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. But. It's kind of crazy that whenever I did my hair, I had to be at a game after. And this is the same situation. I gotta take this down in an hour, and then I gotta get my clothes on, you know what I mean? And head on out to the game. I just wanna take this out, cause it's been, whew, it's been crazy. I only had it in for a week. I don't know what's going on. It's probably too tight. I wanna do two strands, because the last time I did two strand twists was in August, and they looked, amazing but i want to see what they look like with this new growth like my hair grows at an alarming rate now that i got locks like my whole goal one of my biggest goals was to grow my hair like i just needed my hair to be long ever since i was a kid but i couldn't escape the freaking ball fade like my mom was giving me a ball fade all the time mama i love you you know i love you but I gotta tell this story. <laughs> like, I'm feeling like Michael Jackson in the 70s. You know what I mean? I had my pick always in my head. I got my white beater on, walking the streets, D Street. You know what I mean? Man, I'm just walking on the sidewalk. You know what I mean? Got my headphones in, got my pick in, got this big afro just chilling. I'm probably in like second grade or something. You know, just a little kid happy with this big foofy afro when all of a sudden, mama just decided to cut the hair all the way off, yo. Yo, I had to get a whole ball fade. I went from this afro to a ball fade. And I'm really exaggerating. The afro wasn't this big. It was probably like, like this big. But she cut all my hair off. Like, this is a core memory. I remember this. I was a little kid. But the next day at school, bruh, everybody was laughing. I was in PE with this bald head. Nigga just like, Ah. <laughs> but yeah, man, then after that, literally, like my whole, probably from second grade all the way till 
eighth grade, I had to get the ball fade all the time until I started realizing, you know what? If I brush my hair, I could get some serious waves. I started to like it a little bit because I'm like, okay, I can get some waves off of this little hairstyle I'm getting. And I won't just have to look bald all the time. So, you know, I can have it low, but if I'm brushing, I can have some waves. So she won't be cutting it skin fade all the time. Like I'm having my freaking scalp exposed. That's crazy. I'm, dude, my head shape is crazy. Like whenever I'm, when I'm bald headed, nigga, my head is like small. And I got a long neck. So it's like this long neck with this small head. I need a lot of hair to balance it out. You know what I mean? So it's just been my heart's desire to grow my hair out. Okay, I finally started growing it out like my sophomore year in high school. I'm growing it out, but at this time in my life, I didn't have enough knowledge on hair care and just how healthy it should be. I knew how to get curls, but I didn't know how to treat my hair healthy, right? So I was putting eco gel in my head right before school. I would go to school. We used to go to do showers and we used to wet the hair right in the morning. And then we used to put a big thing of eco, a big slap of pow. Get it right. Start shaking it. And then we'll go right to chorus because we had chorus in the morning and we'll be singing. I swear, we'll be in chorus, be dripping. Jerry Curl. Uh, method I did to like have my curls popping in high school was the most horrible way to maintain your hair. I was trying to look good. I wasn't trying to keep my hair healthy. Yeah. So basically, after high school, I started doing a lot of research on how to maintain your hair health. It was the fastest methods of growing your hair. How to get like a full healthy scalp. But what I was seeing a lot was people who had these dreadlock journeys that was going crazy. I'm talking crazy growth in like six months. So I made the executive decision to get locks. So I started getting starter locks. Boom, bam, fast forward, fast forward. Now we're here, okay? And I don't plan on cutting my hair no time soon. I'm trying to grow my hair all the way to my, to my, yeah, that. So I'm trying to get it real low. Get low, get low, get low, get low to the window, to the wall. But yeah, I've been talking for a minute. This is a vlog though, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna just, like, if you, you know what, I, I, I don't know. Like, do you enjoy hearing me talk? for this long or do you just want to get down to business see what the video is about because you clicked on it you want boom 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 pam boom pam and i'm about to do some challenges because i'm an artist i'm about to start doing free giveaways on art so if you is like a regular subscriber and i see that you are loyal and you interact with my page and you know what i mean you share my videos around you let people know that mczeke got a youtube hey y'all need to come check it out i got something good for you okay I see all that. I notice all of it. Listen, I'm a very observant person, okay? I see everything. I see everything. Okay. But anyway, let's get to this part. Let's take this hair down, man. All right, y'all. Yeah, oh, I'm looking crazy. I'm looking super crazy. I'm about to get this set up so I can talk to y'all real quick. All right, y'all. We back. So after I do this style today, expect me to look super bogus for a few months because I need my hair to go super healthy. Whenever I started out, I used to put my hair 
in the styles <clears throat> all the time. Only because I like the um the crinkly look that it gave after I was going through the ugly stage. And the best way for me to avoid that stage was to have it in styles. That was a mistake because now they're all skinny and stuff and it's just me not having as much wisdom or experience on how to maintain them. But I know now. But yeah, y'all. Ooh, been talking for six minutes. That's a long video. Yeah. The hair is washed. I feel like this is zoomed in a lot more. It is. I knew it. I was all up on close up on my face. I'm like, dang. I know it ain't regularly that close. I like it right here. All right. I just washed my hair. It's smelling really good. Y'all remember whenever I told you about my plant? It grows up like a beanstalk all the way to the ceiling. Look at it now. Dude, I told you. These things grow to the freaking ceiling. They get all the way up here, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm not lying. Tiki Alo. They are a symbol of good luck. The universe. God don't give you what you want because you want it. He gives you what you want because the habits you, you've created, you know, to prove that you want it. You know what I mean? You have to prove that you are humble enough and that you are stable enough, that you are mature enough to receive the blessing that you want. I am on a level of maturity and wisdom to where I want to start spreading it. I don't want to just be by myself, you know, just talking because I do talk to myself. That is. Talking to yourself does not mean talking to yourself. I'm gonna get real deep right here. It's a whole bunch of angels and ancestors and entities that's always around you and always within you, especially God. And whenever you're talking to yourself, you're not talking to yourself. You're talking to those energies. I know y'all be having those intrusive thoughts that tell you to do the worst thing possible. You know what I mean? Or not do it, but you just think of the worst thing possible. Like you like, ooh, why did I just think of that? You know what I mean? That's not you. What you just, that's not you. You're separate from that thought. And basically y'all, I'm finna be sharing a lot of wisdom. This is called writing through the eyes of wisdom. If y'all seen my video, the morning walk and talk. If y'all seen that, I mentioned that I created some magic in this book. I'll go over it. You know what I mean? Cause this video, I'm supposed to be doing my hair in this video. I'm talking a lot. Y'all y'all clicked on it because pop smoke locks, pop smoke locks. But I'm over here talking about something else. But if you really rock with me, I thank you. Cause these are for you. These are for you specifically. I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah. So whenever I come back, uh, I'll be ready to put the pop smoke locks in my head and wrap this video up because most of it's been me talking. You dig? I'll see you in a minute. We just taking these clips out. Like I said, after this retwist, I'm not gonna be doing this for a while because in order to have super strong and healthy locks, you just gotta let it do what it gotta do. Stop messing with it so much. All right, so I got all my hair sectioned off. You know what I mean? We finna do the pop smoke slash little baby. I'm gonna have boom, boom. So it's gonna be two, four, six. It's gonna be six barrels. I ain't never did six barrels. We about to start on this side right now. So you just take one lock, take one lock, take either the bottom 
or the top lock right after it, right? I'm going to take the top lock. Whichever lock you take and it's on the outside, you want to wrap it around the outside, okay? So I'm just going to wrap this around the outside. Now I'm going to do a two strand all the way to the end, just like this. Right, boom. All right, I'm going to wrap it around so that this will show because that indicates a crispy retwist. This is a little bogus tutorial, I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> Hopefully you get in the picture of it, because it's real easy. I don't think I gotta get really in depth for it to be a good tutorial. I think it's easier said than done, but this is easy to me. So if you have troubles, let me know, and I can help you. So our next one is on the outside, okay? These are, uh, these are the next two ones I'm gonna do. This is on the right, this is on the left. Okay, so this will be around, and this will be around. It's up to you which one you wanna do first. I wanna do this one first. So we're gonna wrap it around and like that. Hey, right, it's starting to look pretty cool. It's starting to look pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. Now we got this one, wrap around this way. Two strand, all the way down. After I show you guys how to fully do a, like a full barrel, I'm gonna most likely do a time lapse of me finishing this. So I got two more left, y'all. I got one on the right and one on the left. I'm gonna do the left one first. We're going around just like that. Really clean it up and wrap it around as much as you can. My last one, wrap it around like so. This is actually gonna look way better than I thought. And then whenever you're done with the wrapping part, put the rubber band on that thing. Got one right here. Boom! And we got the lock in now. Let's zoom out. One of them is done. Can you dig it? I can. That look real clean. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna do the rest. Speed run. Let's get it. Pot smoke slash little baby. I rate it like a six out of 10 for me. My hair need to be a little bit longer for this style to actually look really good. But let me add some magic real quick. We'll see if y'all notice it. I'll be back in three, two, one. Do you know what I just did? I know I look a tad bit different. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you, it's up to you to decide what I did. Maybe I did nothing. Maybe I'm just tricking you and giving you something called placebo effect. Ah, huh? making you think, making you think. Before I end this video, I'll say a few things. Um, Y'all remember my plant I was talking about? My olive tiki plant. Tiki Alo. Whenever I first started this video, this thing, I'm gonna call it a beanstalk, was only right here. Okay, this thing grows fast. 
Um, I told y'all it literally reaches the ceiling. That's one thing I want you to take away from this video. That I got this magical ass beanstalk ass plant. It's magical. But I'm not gonna put another style in my head for probably like four to five months because I've just been going crazy, just going crazy. And what I'm doing to my locks is not good. I'm making them super thin. Um, six barrels. Six of them things. Pop smoke, little baby retwist. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I literally did this while I was under the weather. I got like a little strep though, something going on. So yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I appreciate y'all for being part of this journey slash family slash experience. I'm just very grateful for you being part of this. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed your day. Y'all stay blessed. Stay strong. Peace. Love. Harmony.